This is Sprit Fella. In the escape tunnel. I don't know what I'm doing here. It's a really bad idea. So we're back in Nicholas Owen, my old classroom in Stonyhurst College. I was here when I was 14. I used to sit there at the desk at the back with Anton Smith and Dominic D'Souza. We were the naughty boys. <laughs> Last film, I took you through the story that is my passion. Watch film one, you'll get a sense of the whole movie and what it means to me and why I have a personal connection to it. Because I had a priest hole in my bedroom and because I admire the hell out of John Gerard, this buccaneering priest who escaped from the Tower of London. And the whole thing of priest holes just blows my mind. It's so ingenious that John Gerard and Nicholas Owen, this double act, would go around the great country houses of England and build secret passages and secret tunnels. Later today, I'm gonna try and get into one of them. I couldn't get into the priest hole in my bedroom. <laughs> They've locked it. They're opening up the escape tunnels. I say tunnels, two of them, under the deputy headmaster's desk in his office. And they're letting me in and I have no idea what it's gonna be like there. The last time they opened it up was 30 years ago and it was full of three inches of mud and frogs and spiders that had probably descended from the original 16th century colony. It spawned there when they built these tunnels. There's one that leads out after the drains in the quad and then the other one leads out to the gardens at the front. I don't know whether I'll be able to go in there, whether it's just gonna be a brick wall and a big disappointment, which brings me back to one of the most watched events on network television in America. We have Al Capone's vaults. Directly beneath me, in this hotel's rubble-strewn basement, a massive concrete chamber has been discovered. The networks whipped everybody up into this huge frenzy of expectation that they were gonna find Al Capone's lost treasure. And when they went through, they opened the safe, and everyone was on the edge of the seats, and it was just full of dirt. I don't know if I'm going to find any treasure in the escape tunnels, but let's have a go and, and see what comes up. It just shows this tunnel here. And that's what we're looking for when we get the carpet up. Okay. All right, guys. Steve, Dave, we better take it away. How big were these priests? Okay. Oh my word. This is it guys, I'm going in. <laughs> <laughs> so I gotta do my Charles Bronson from The Great Escape. Well, how's it coming, Danny? No good. No good? Today, three times. You're not coming, chaps. No. If you're not back, you're not for now. I'm concerned if you go down there first, you're going to come out the back first. So if I get stuck, um, yeah, that's the. Big minute you drag you out your ankle, basically. I'm probably going to freak out, so I'm going to do the difficult one first. Oh dear. Is that a mistake? I think anything is a mistake. It has to be what we think it is. Mm. But as I say, if people are a lot smaller then, and I imagine that was quite a bit... Yeah, but they would have had a way out as well. So a way out. You're in, guaranteed you're way guaranteed out. out. So. Well, you'd be off and running for a mile, wouldn't you? Exactly. But I'm 5'7", and I feel like I'm a giant. Hey, like, this is terrifying. <laughs> The original floor, it's just there though, doesn't it? How the hell am I going to get out? Six inches further well, down. This is the problem. Too. I don't think you will that way. I don't. I wouldn't, I wouldn't risk it. Can somebody hold my feet? No, but how are you going to get out? Are you going to pull me out? We are going to get that one. Okay. I'll leave you to then you fall, Steve. You don't stand on me. Right, and then I'm going to go down first, and then if you pass me the camera. Well, I don't think you're going to get the camera in there. Now, don't let go. <laughs> Who said f filmmaking was fun? Oh, guys, can I trust you on this? Yeah, yeah. You got me fully? Yeah. Right, where's the actual... That's the top of the camera, the legs are down. There oh, you go. Okay. Right. I can see light. Okay. I can easily just drop my camera and then we're going to have a real problem. Right. This is Spritfella. In the escape tunnel, 
I don't know what I'm doing here. It's a really bad idea. It's been a privilege, and now it's time to get out before I get stuck here. Okay, hold on, hold on. You got it. Ah. More? Okay. Okay. Yeah. Put your legs down. Oh. Oh. Wow. That was intense. <laughs> Mad. So you can see it, it goes down. There is some daylight coming through, and that one leads to the ponds, presumably. Is that the idea? Yeah, but it goes to the shrubbery, apparently. It goes to the shrubbery, really? Have you seen the. Yeah, just yeah. Out? Right outside the window. So here's a priest hole, or priest tunnel, that was most probably built by Nicholas Owen and may have even hid John Gerard as he was being hunted in Lancashire by Richard Topcliffe and the priest hunters. Guys, I don't know how you did it. Uh, thank you for watching. I promised all the critics that if we didn't find anything, I'd sing a song. So, uh, uh, Chicago, Chicago, that Tottenham town. All right, I'm going. I'll see you. Good night. I'm sorry. See you next time. Fool! This way we never get through. We must have more wood. <laughs>